apparel event agent let's talk about it but before we talk about it uh you already know if you like the video and its, and its contents then you know what to do appreciate you and uh just so we're clear on what apparel events are apparel events offer you an opportunity to earn new apparel through a dedicated event cache collect or buy event keys to open caches collect all items in the event cache pool before the end of the event to earn a unique event reward now when the event is live you can collect apparel event keys by leveling up your keener watch or purchasing them to open apparel event caches collect all items before the end of the event to earn a unique reward once the event enters event closing you can no longer obtain keys through gameplay activities you can still purchase event apparel keys until the end of this phase you can only earn the unique event rewards before the end closing event end once the event ends you can no longer earn the unique rewards however your event items can still be purchased from the apparel store in the future event items may also become available in standard apparel caches in the future that has happened however right now the phoenix down apparel event is active it's active i've got all of the keys here is my problem and i'm probably not the only person that has a problem with this okay or has this problem and if i've had this problem now it's probably other past apparel events that other people are having these problems with if you're having this problem as well okay let me know in the comment section okay make it be known you feel me for the things down apparel event the completion award is this badlands helmet right pretty sweet helmet i think honestly pretty legit will i wear it probably somewhere in the near future but not right now i actually like the uh the, the helmet that i have on currently they can get in the store for high end apparel right you have 11 pieces right and then superior you have 16 pieces right and then for specialized you have 11 pieces well the issue that i have is with this emote the breakdance emote it says i have it but i don't now the reason i got a problem with this emote is because i've been waiting for this emote for a while very very long time most of my friends they've got it who play this game still they've got it i've seen them use it and apparently i have it but i don't have it and i'm going to cover that in a minute now the reason why i've been waiting for this emote is because i got ideas in my head for content things like that the music that i use that i like that could benefit from using this emote or <laughs> i just want that emote because it suits me you know what i'm saying i'm all about it what people don't know or some people don't know is that there are variants there are there are variants this may be uh apparently there's a pop and lock uh title to this specific emote but this is not this is not exactly the breakdance emote even though it has that title here so there are variants let me show you what the variant is now for the variant remember I have this variant equipped it in my favorites. So it has the same icon, but it's actually doing handstands. <laughs> but it says breakdance. So maybe maybe someone in, in, the, in the dev team, Yannick, or somewhere, someone at Massive can explain to me and the rest of you what's going on here. Is this one of the bugs, one of the glitches that's supposed to be fixed or, or what? It's kind of kind of weird and i'm sure this is not the first I'm sure there are probably more if there are more remember post it in the comments make it be known okay because as of right now even though the you know the test servers or whatever is closed right now to the next one we're all still in the beta test because uh the team people in the team are watching the content I've seen a video from kamikaze von doom um talking about the apparel event and i was excited i was extremely excited I was like, oh man, the, the breakdance emote that I went and bought another game for thinking that it was part of the year one uh, content or something that I, I thought I missed it completely. I bought the game again 
didn't get my refund, whatever, that's fine. I'm, I'm over that. But this came up, I got excited. It says I have it already, but I don't have it already. I have a variant. Now here's a couple of solutions to that. Maybe, just maybe, they can implement a, 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 a toggle where you can switch from one to the other. I mean, look at, look at the screen, look at the screen. You've got enough real estate to implement toggle UI interface option in there. Why not use it? And you know what? While we're on it, I'm gonna just keep this rant going. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it going. And you can agree, disagree, whatever the case may be. But we got textile points. We got textile credits, points, whatever. Can't really use them. What's the point of having them if we can't use them? And then with this, this with this uh, uh, apparel event, once you're done, once you've gotten all the keys, that's it. That's it. You get the regular standard apparel, uh, cash key, uh, leveling up Keener's watch. But for the event that's live for two weeks, two days, and nine hours while you're grinding, why can't you just get more keys? You got clan members, you got teammates, you got people who you enjoy playing with who may not be in your clan, right? But you can gift them keys. Why not have that option? And then once the event's over, the keys are gone, whatever. Or they roll over to the next apparel event. I'm just, I'm just saying, this this features here, yeah. This features here similar to the uh legacy manhunts, right? But these features are kind of like broken. They were just thrown in there, right? Without any forethought. Yeah. Someone made the idea in the devs team. Someone made the idea, you know what, let's just bring back uh, the manhunts, right? Legacy manhunts. Fine. But there are also apparel items that you can only get through these manhunts right that are not available when you do the, the legacy manhunt for instance or for example the stovepipe chess piece i did this manhunt probably about i don't know three times thinking that i don't know maybe i'm just tripping right no it is not part of the reward for completing the manhunt why is that What's the point of me even doing the legacy manhunt? Why even implement this into the game if the focus on a lot of the the, the so-called updates or the project resolved, you, you know, that, that's coming, the focus on that is PvP. This isn't PvP. The majority of the game is PvE. PvP comes after, comes later, right? So, the front crowd is going to be PvEers. The later crowd is going to be PvPers. Okay? There's things that you, you can't do, or weapons and gear and stuff like that that you can't get unless you do PvE. Right? First. To get exotics. For the most part, to get exotics, uh, unless, we're, unless we're talking about what? The, uh, the pestilence, right? You can get the pestilence in the pv in pvp in the dark zone whatever but for everything else you got to do a raid right and for the raid guess what that's pve all right <laughs> over that over that that's just that's one of the many the, the, the many gripes great game though great game that i enjoy playing all the time it's just Things like that kind of just kind of pisses me off a little bit. You know, it's, I got like this feeling that they're only listening to certain people, right? They're only, they're only paying attention to certain kinds of people. But we can change that, you feel me? We can change that. What's the issue with this, with the, the, uh, uh, the festive delivery backpack? What's the issue with that? What if, uh, from my, from my understanding, when you throw a grenade on yourself, it kills you, right? You can, how, it, it kills you when you throw a grenade on yourself. The backpack is doing what it was designed to do, right? Two people, two targets, two enemies, whatever. It blows up one, blows up the other. If there's no other enemies around, that, but you know, the enemy that's closest, which could be an enemy team, is gonna light their ass on fire, okay? It's gonna explode on them. That's what it's designed to do. Why is everyone calling it a glitch?
okay? It's not a glitch. It's by its design. Okay? You want to thwart that and equip some Hasbro. Because guess what? In a lot of PvP situations, someone is using has using some kind of hazardous material, okay? You're getting shot. You're getting poisoned or, or, or you know, someone's got a vial mask on, maybe, right? Just to get that little bit of uh, uh, DPS in there, okay? Just to finish you off, right? They're using bleed. They're using, uh, uh, you know, someone's got a, a Scorpio, right? Come on. How do you combat that? Pass Pro, explosion resistance. The game is tactical. It's meant to be played tactically. It is, it is what it is with that, man. Stop crying. <sighs> All right. <laughs> rants over. Rants over. Awesome for having the uh, apparel event. That's an awesome idea. Keep pushing that, okay? Keep pushing that. Think about the long term. <sighs> and that is all I got for this video. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, like I said earlier, you already know what to do. And on that note, one time for the one time out. Crew Squad. Thanks for watching.